New word from the nation's top scientists on the zombie virus that appeared just two weeks ago. Hello everyone, Josh here with Sean. We are going to be doing some uh, Project Zomboid for you guys. This is going to be basically the start of our zombie themed game marathon. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and get started. Uh, currently doing just the sandbox mode because turns out the story mode doesn't work with this current version of the game. Properly. Uh, yeah, properly anyways. Uh, so basically, starting this game, you have uh, five sort of uh, personalities to choose from, and basically each of these things will give you a uh, free um, perk. Yeah, perk. There you go. So, and then on top of that, you can choose additional perks or actually traits. Yeah. Um, and you have to balance them out with negative traits and positive traits. Yeah. Basically, if you want something to be good. You're gonna have to uh, choose something bad. <laughs> uh huh. So like, there is the strong perk, which gives you extra carrying capacity, carrying weight, and yeah, which also, I will be taking. <laughs> it also gives you more pushback uh, for when you're fighting, fighting zombies. But you, then again, you know, I I wouldn't take, or I would take light drinker because I don't plan on drinking a lot of whiskey. Yeah, and I would as well. So, and I like the light eater because you don't have to eat as much. Which this game, I guess we should go into explaining the game because we did that and then didn't do that. So. Yeah, uh, basically the uh, game is a isometric zombie survival game. It's also more geared towards being a little bit more realistic, as in uh, character management. So you're going to have to deal with hunger, uh, fear, anxieties, and things like that that your character experiences and it's also kind of um, like dealing with Sims characters as well in yep. a way. The, the, the moodlets. Yeah exactly. So basically you have those things and you just have to give your character different items to either calm them down or different health items and things like that. We are choosing to be shirtless this run through. Yeah well <laughs> we're we're choosing the construction worker because they come with the uh, thick skinned and handy. Basically, handy allows you to do faster barricading, and thick skin makes you less prone to being uh, bitten and scratched. Well, even if you do get bitten or scratched, it's less likely that you're going to be uh, hurt from them. Or turned. Yeah, or turned. <laughs> and yes, you can be turned into a zombie in this game. Uh, yeah, short tempered. I think it's fitting that we. Uh we play a bunch of zombie games because we've talked about our love of The Walking Dead recently and Diablo, right? Yeah, exactly. So, Yeah, and I think this is basically what we're going to be going with. So we have Strong, which is going to allow us to be a little bit better with melee damage. And it's also going to allow us to carry more. Uh, we have Light Eater, meaning we're going to have to eat less. And uh, Light Drinker. Unfortunately, that means that if we do decide to try and make some Molotov cocktails, our characters are going to be getting wasted. <laughs> yeah, the 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 mood lit uh, for for completely drunk is like shit face drunk. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we have clumsy. Uh, yeah, zombies are attracted to noises, which is one of the reasons why we're not playing a officer, because really you don't want to be using guns because zombies being attracted to noise will start swarming your ass. <laughs> Uh, we have brooding, uh, so your characters do get angry or scared or things like that, but uh, items tend to just instantly change those moods anyways, so we don't really quite care about that. We have overweight, meaning your character is not going to be able to run as fast or as long, but in general, if you find yourself a decent weapon, you won't have to run, and not to mention the zombies are very slow. <laughs> And then with the uh, free traits, with being a construction worker, we have the less uh, less chances of being injured while being scratched or bitten or turned. Uh, we have the handy, which will allow us to board up pathways so we can make a stronghold a lot easier. Uh, you have short-tempered, meaning your character will get angry a lot quicker. 
I think this makes your character less um, able to compatible with other people. And yeah. PCs. Yeah. Exactly. Uh, but <clears throat> really, like I said, I'm probably just going to kill them anyways. <laughs> right. Uh, as unless they're hot. Yeah. Are there any chicks? I, I think so. Oh. Because in the story mode, you have to save your wife or something. Oh, okay. And then there's uh, resilience, so it'll be also adding to that thick skin and, you know, basically not becoming a zombie. So let's go ahead and start this, shall we? Hopefully it doesn't freeze up on us this time around. We shall. Knock it so. on wood. <laughs> and if it does freeze up, we'll go ahead and keep all the same perks, and then it'll be like magic and nothing ever changed. Okay, so here we are in the game. Um, so as you can see, there is a fog of war going on. Uh, I think the spawn points are always random. Aren't they? Always random. Yeah. So this is probably the second time you played this. So this is actually only the second time I've played this. So I this is my copy of the game we're playing right now. So if you need any help, I'll provide assistance. Yeah. Ooh, cigs. Yeah. While I, while I don't condone smoking, uh, in this game, smoking does help to calm your character down if he is anxious. So. Like in real life. So if you know you guys get anxious, go smoke. Oh, what? I'm just kidding. That counteracts exactly what you just said. Go away, zombie. Yeah. You're not wanted. Do you see you? I don't think so. I don't think you did. The music didn't change. He's kind of sitting there. So you turn on the light to to attract him. Yep. Yeah, I think. Oh, we gotta get spawned this time. Yeah. Wonder if you can hold. Oh no, I guess. <sighs> that's like one of the only chairs in this place that's that is next to a window, like the rest. What? What's wrong with that? Uh, can you find a sheet? Because you can put a sheet over the window and close it. Um, if you fall asleep there, well, the zombie won't pass. I don't think I'll be staying for very long, so. Should be fine. I'm thinking first day. It's already. Uh, as you can see, the zombie is now dead, and uh, there's uh, another NPC survivor that just went running by. There's, you don't have a weapon, so I wouldn't suggest. No. Oh wow, you can't run at all. No, it, I think it has to do with being a construction worker. Like, you have inherent skills being the different things, because you can level up in this Oh no, I so. took the overweight perk, so... Oh yeah, no, the, the overweight shouldn't affect it that much. Uh, you can eventually sprint because you have the ability when you level up. You know. Oh, right, right. Yeah, you're, they all know you're there. No, they don't. Leave me alone. I'm going to break through that window. <laughs> I'll put a door between us. We're good. I'll get... I don't think that's... Yeah. Parking garage. <laughs> Nothing good ever happens in a parking garage <laughs> in a zombie. Uh, I'd like, rather go upstairs than go to play here. You know? That's a pole. Battery and cancel. So, this video, I don't know how long we'll go for, but it basically it's going to be a test to see if you, know, you guys want to see more of this from us. Uh, just, just post in the comments below if you would like to see more of this, and, and we'll, we'll definitely play it because it, it's pretty fun and, and you can play it for a while. Yeah, I mean, it just all kind of depends on your uh, skill base. <laughs> yes, and we, we hope to survive. For a while. Oh, oh, snap! Walk briskly. Gotta find a pen. Gotta find. <laughs> huh. Hey, now you can have a shirt. Well, really, that's so. What? It's <laughs> so blank. You should you should have. You should get the orange one. It's pretty. <laughs> you have shoes. You don't need shoes. Oh. Uh, oh, do you hear that? I think that zombie's pounding on that door. I don't care. I'm um, now. I'm wearing two pairs of shoes. <laughs> Uh, what was that? Woo! 
Oh yeah. Um, let's just go ahead and drop that other sweater. We're we're not really wearing a sweater, guys. We're just super tan. Where do I put the socks at? I, I don't think you can. I think they're just additional. So yeah, you can eat the socks. No. <laughs> uh, I want to try. Put them on the head. No. Okay. <laughs> I still don't have a weapon. There's yeah. a zombie out there. I'm turning on the light. Which <laughs> is... Is that a vest? <laughs> it's a vest, but I think it exposes your arms. Oh. It might weigh less, though. I don't care for it. What is this, a, a clothing company or something? Jeez. Oh. Getting hungry. Eat a book. <laughs> yes, eat a book. So this Can is how the inventory more? management kind of works. Uh, you click on. No, oh, why did you just eat raw chicken? Was I not supposed to? I don't. You're gonna get sick from it. Well, I got the resistance, so I shouldn't. Did you get resistance to sick sickness? Yeah. And I don't see anything. Well, it wouldn't happen until a little bit later. I don't think salmon uh, know what poisoning happens until like you're home and sleeping. And, oh, oh you got the shit. That did. <laughs> There are a lot of clothes in this building. Yeah. Well, at least I got a lot of books, so I won't uh, be getting bored anytime. <laughs> what you really need is food. I got food. Okay, good. You got sheets. Yeah. See, I got food. Okay. Uh, you haven't eaten anything since we started. So. I did. I ate yeah, two chicken. Oh, no, that's right. <laughs> Why Come did on, you John. do that? They're breaking windows down there. Yeah, because you alerted them to your place. Hopefully there's a back exit. Well, I guess there's that parking garage. Oh, my character's browsing now. Great. I want to go in that room. I don't know if there's anything in that room. Like, oh, here's helping off. Building manager. Uh, looks like a... At least there's more walls and doors between you and zombies here. Got a pencil. Hell yeah. Like a boss. You got that pencil. So dark in here. So what mood list do you have? You're getting bored and what's that one? Uh, getting bored, getting tired, getting anxious. anxious and I'm bad. And I can't see crap here. <laughs> Ah, uh, matches. I think you need those to smoke, so. Oh, yeah, yeah. And yeah, weapons and stuff, or items do stack, so it's a good thing. They stack, but they're also degradable. Or yeah. they have a durability with them. Yeah. And it's based off the star. Well, it's not based off the star, but the star is how much you can tell it, Beta it has blockers. left. Beta blockers. Beta blockers, that helps with... Um, if you start getting panicked. Oh. And they they weigh like nearly nothing, so it's always best to pick them up if you can. Got me some chocolate bars. Uh, you, you gotta sleep soon. Uh, let's close this door here and see. I'll be okay to sleep here. <laughs> Or oh, maybe I can't sleep in these chairs. Hmm. No. Sleep on the table. <laughs> can you? I don't know. Oh, these chairs here. Oh. Here's hoping I don't wake up surrounded by zombies. <laughs> hey, if you do, it's the end of the video. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Oh, nice. Okay, 10 o'clock. That's a pretty good time. You might want to go out that way because I think all the zombies are aggroed over there. Yeah. Oh, this is a pretty big building. Yeah, you know what? I think you've been. Yeah, this is the place you've been in before. Yeah. Yeah. Time to raid the chips. <laughs> chips and soda. They are mine. No, I eat too. Actually, you are thirsty. Okay. Does soda count? Yeah, sure. Yeah. Minus one hundred thirst. I do. I do. I do. Ooh. Nervous. Getting bored and queasy. Probably because you ate that chicken. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> uh, You're gonna want to find a 
like a house to to stay in with food. Oh, I've safe. got plenty of food on me, so because you want to be well fed so that you can kick the sickness pretty fast. Uh huh. Um, also, don't eat uncooked salmon. Yeah, yeah. Same mistake. Ooh, kitchen knife. Kitchen knife. That's good. Beans. Freaking beans. Well, I kind of need to find a caliber, don't I? You might want that pot. Okay. <laughs> Just so you can cook soup with. At all, right? Yes, you do need a can opener. Nothing. Pencil. What's your weight looking like? Uh, I'm not even half yet. Okay, that's good. I do think I picked up a TV dinner. Then I. Cigarettes. Well, here, let's do this. Cure my boredom. <laughs> um. Uh, so, <clears throat> status ailments. They will decrease your attack speed or accuracy or just basically make it hard for you to fight anything. Right. Which makes it hard for you to survive. Um, what you really don't want it's to get a fever. Oh. Because then you start losing health with a fever. That would suck, wouldn't it? Yep. So you're going to want to find painkillers too. Yeah. If you can. Made the newbiest mistake. Oh, found painkillers. Okay, that's good. And so painkillers, they have a, like, a durability to them. AKA, there's a certain amount of pills in a bottle. Right. So you can just keep using it. I think you can use. Whenever it pops up, you, you just kind of want to use two to Found more painkillers. Nice. Oh, and yeah, the reason I'm collecting all these batteries is because you can get flashlights. Yeah. Chocolate is also good because it's non perishable. Yeah. So. <clears throat> I'm just gonna go ahead and drop this egg. <laughs> just thinking, you probably want to eat more healthy stuff since you are queasy. Oh, come on, get around this stuff. I guess, uh, so, so what we were saying was this is beginning our little zombie marathon we're doing. Well, oh, yeah. if you want to know, we've got a couple other games planned on doing, and we've talked about it before. But we want to play DayZ. Um, <laughs> you're going to go in every one into okay. Yeah. <laughs> no, 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 no. We want to play, the, well, it's Arma 2 mod DayZ, uh, which is, it's kind of like this one, only just 3D. Yeah. And, and you're more of a military person. Uh, the whole aspect of this is to f survive against not only the zombies but other players too, because they make it really hard for you to communicate with them. Okay, so we got our zombie here somewhere. Yeah. I think he went back downstairs. Oh, yeah, he did go downstairs. And get right. Okay, so how that. you attack is you hold oh, the control. Oh no, I'm stuck. Control. Oh, am I seriously stuck on the zombie corpse? Are you? <laughs> yes, I am. Ah, uh, ah, uh, this is messed up. No. <laughs> All right. Well, let's let's go ahead and then finish it with updates. Okay. So, I, I just wanted to say to attack, you hit control, and oh, are you just gonna fast forward until you die? Yeah. Okay. Well, you're not fast forward anymore. Um, so, to con you hold control and press the click button, that'll that'll kill him. Now you're gonna pass out too. Yeah. Um, so we're planning on doing Daisy. I went ahead and picked up Dead Rising off the record. Yeah. Which I think we're just gonna play sandbox mode. In. Um, we only have one copy of the game though, so we're not gonna do any co-op. We're just gonna possibly trade off back and forth. Right. Do a couple episodes each of that. And was there anything else zombie related we were doing? Uh, well, we do still have the Resident Evil series. That's right. Uh, we should probably finish that. Me and Josh are going to be going ahead and finishing that Let's Play together. Yeah. 
And I, yeah, and I guess be, when you fast forward, do you stop it from speed? Or when you move, you stop yeah, it from fast forward. Yeah, I guess forward. so. Um, Resident Evil 6, I have the code for the demo for, so when that comes out... Okay, yeah. We'll go ahead and play the demo and record it for you. I think that's about all the, the zombie games we have. I mean, we could play Left 4 Dead. Do you have Left 4 Dead 1? Uh, no longer, I don't think so. Oh, okay. Well, yeah, but yeah, but if you guys have any other sort of zombie-themed games that you guys want to see, um, go ahead and let us know. We really like these independent games, so if there's cool independent zombie games like this, um, then let us know about that, too. Also, if there's any cool independent mods for games like like the Armor 2, other than the Daisy or stuff that you want us to show off, let us know in the comments below. Yeah. So we might go ahead and try this again next time without eating <laughs> raw chicken, getting sick, and then getting stuck by a zombie. Um. But yeah, this game is still in development, so, you know, things like this will be fixed later on. Oh, right, we should tell how much it is. It, th this game is $8. Yeah, and it will go up eventually once the game gets towards finished. So. Right, they're releasing it Minecraft style, where they're giving, they're, they're just doing updates on it right now. And so, you, you pay for it once, and then you get all the updates to it uh, as they come out. Uh -huh. Josh, just go ahead and hit fast forward, and we'll just... We'll just time lapse to the end. Yeah. When yeah. you die. Yeah. <laughs> Open this door because we want to see your dead body go out. Yeah. Although I haven't. Actually, been no, you yet. haven't been bitten. That sucks. Yeah. <laughs> oh, actually, have I? No. Oh. Yeah, I'm completely okay. Oh, here we go. <laughs> this <laughs> is what happens when you don't take care of your sins. <laughs> so. <laughs> Nervous injuries. Oh, injured. Nervous injuries. Well, it was nervous, and then it switched to injuries. So. Hungry, dying. I'm no longer dying anymore. What is this? <laughs> I guess he's automatically eating stuff out of the inventory now. Is he? I don't know. I think I so. Think so. Well, why is my health going back up then? I have no idea. Mystery of life. <laughs> <clears throat> Okay, well, we'll leave it at this then. We might do another run through of this. But yeah, I'm Josh. I'm Sean. Uh, we are You Mad Bro Films, and we will see you next time. You Mad Bro?